what I have been through Broken so many ways What I love I lose I'd like to get it back That's just something I can't do Cause it's too late for yesterday. I see you brought the money. It's all there. Count it if you want. I trust you, Mr. Davis. You know the consequences of cheating me out of my money. So we gonna do business now or what? Something just doesn't sound right. What do you mean? Sounds okay so far. I don't know. My instincts tell me something's wrong though. It shouldn't be taking this long. Mike, you and Tom make your way over to the building. Copy that, Karen. That was a shit. Since when did you start running the team, desk jockey? Asshole. Tom, stifle that shit. She's acting on my behalf. Copy that. Mike and I are moving into position. What's going on here, Mr. Chang? I thought you were delivering our order. What's all this? It seems like you've been lying to us, Mr. Davis. I have reason to believe you're a cop. Something's wrong. The guy spooked, that's all. So you see now why we must not be associated with you. I apologize for not recognizing what you were earlier. A dreadful mistake on my part. What the fuck? You guys came to me looking for this score. Hey, if he was a cop, he would have busted you two weeks ago when we made that exchange at that club in Chinatown. Perhaps you're correct. Or perhaps you have nothing on our organization. A little bird told me that the surveillance and the audio did not come out cleanly. <laughs> or perhaps I'm wrong. I can't hear anything, you? N nothing. Barnes, Davis, damn it! Alpha team. Hold position. Karen! Clear! 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 Barnes? Hey, 
Anyone know what happened in this room? We had everything covered. Tom, what's it look like outside? All clear out here, Alex. No movement. Son of a bitch, how these fuckers get out? All right, secure the perimeter in a two mile radius. Check for stragglers. Mike, take over. It's okay, Karen. Don't ever run off like that, instinct or not. We're together as a team, you got it? I'm sorry, it's just that... I don't want to lose you, Karen. I need to see you and your team in my office. Can I get some coffee first? Right now! All right, Kevin. I just got off the phone with the mayor. And he's not too fucking happy with the shit you guys have handed the department. This unit was formed to stop drug trafficking in Chinatown and the surrounding communities. Captain, with all due respect, we're trying. Don't try, Vieira. Do it. Bennett, what's your excuse? I believe that someone or something disrupted the feed by causing some sort of interference. Whoever it was knew exactly what to do. That's your fucking excuse? IA thinks we might have a mole in the unit. Sir, why would IA think we have a mole? In the last six months, we've had numerous arrests. Last night, Assistant DA Julie Crawford's body was found murdered in her apartment. Her files in the family and the chain triad, gone. Everything. It must have been someone who knew she had files. There was no sign of forcible entry, and the coroner said she was raped. Raped? Did we find anything under her fingernails that we can use? She was raped post-mortem. Forensic hasn't found anything. Karen, I need you and Dr. Cameron to go over the crime scene evidence. All right. Captain? Thank you. Captain Stiles, Lieutenant John Kane, Internal Affairs. I'm sure you've already met District Attorney Giles. This must be the task force that's been the pride and joy of this precinct. I've got to say, I'm not fucking impressed. Hold on a damn minute. All of these are good cops and I stand by all of them. We'll get to the bottom of this mess. Captain, how do you expect me to put these triad people behind bars? You can't even make sure that the batteries and their equipment works. I mean, come on, this happened twice in the last month. I think someone's on the family's payroll. Maybe even Chang's triad. We were all pre-screened. We had our jackets thoroughly looked over before we assigned the task force. This is all bullshit. This piece of shit only cares about his chance to become governor. He's a fucking bureaucrat who's got no idea what it's like on the street. Shut up, Ben. You too, Vieira. If you got something on my team, I want to see it. If not, don't call my team dirty. Look, we're all on the same team here. I just don't like it when my case against the family and the triad falls apart. Miss Crawford had access to everything. Somebody got through before the indictments could be issued. The only thing that's unusual here is that there weren't any copies. So we have to assume that she's working for somebody else. Everything's gone, and that's our problem. And I can't build an argument without any evidence. Captain, we'll figure something out. If we can get it once, we can get it again. Be sure that you do, because I assure you that my investigation will uncover everything. I will find the truth. But for now, get the fuck out. Go! Bitchy sport. <laughs> That's odd. My rent's not here. Oh. Do you think something happened? I don't know. I'm not sure. My father makes sure my driver's here every day at four. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Well, do you want me to wait here with you? Why don't we go grab some boba and I'll call my driver and have his meals there? Yeah, that's her right there on the cell phone. But I don't know who the other little bitch is, though. Yo, did you guys take care of the driver like you're supposed to? Good. He's not answering. I'll call him when we get to Lowe's, okay? Okay, sounds good. Look, she's getting off the phone. Follow them slowly, but don't let them know they're being followed, all right? Hmm, I like 
gonna go for some popcorn chicken. I'm really hungry. Well, you can't eat your lunch for a change. I have my mom's cooking. Besides, it's not popcorn chicken that I'm hungry for. No, Ian, can't you behave? Is that <laughs> all you think about? I swear sometimes I think you're a guy. I know a shortcut through the back of school. Let's take that. Okay. Yeah, who are you? So let's go. Lillian! <laughs> I don't have time for this shit! Stupid bitch! It's gonna let you live! Let's go. So you see, Marcus, if we keep moving the crack through Crenshaw, we can actually save time and some money. This, this crack hotel thing could actually work towards our advantage. Marcus, with production up in Compton, Watts, and Crenshaw, why not just abandon North Hollywood? Give it to the triad. Man, I know we worked hard to get this area from the Koreans. But these Asian cats, man, they're putting up more resistance to our taking over than we thought. You know, some of the merchants think the triad's gonna protect them. And in many cases, they have. We've turned Chinatown and Koreatown into war zones. They've even brought the fight to us. If we hadn't made a peace with the Yakuza, we'd be in deeper shit. Now we've kidnapped the triad boss's daughter. Marcus, what do we have to gain? Man, I'm not cool with this. First of all, I'm glad production's up. Second, Xavier. Last I heard, I didn't have to explain myself to you. Now, since you want to know why I made this bold move and kidnapped Chang's daughter, it's simple. Since we killed his son in the club last year, he's been very protective of his youngest and only child he has left. He'll negotiate whatever terms I dictate. Jamal, you can leave. Where's the girl now? T.L.'s bringing her in now. Was she any problem? Nah. But I had to put her girlfriend down like a dog, so I saw to it. I left a ransom note on the body also. My, my. You are a nice little piece, aren't you? What you want me to do with her? Can me and the boys have a little fun with her? It's been a long time since I had the Chinese. I kind of missed the taste. No, I'll save her chance for the old man. Just take her to the location we discussed earlier. No problem. T.L. Yo. I'm serious. Don't fuck with her unless you hear from me. If the old man doesn't give in, then you can have your way with her as many times as you like. Then we'll mail the bitch back to him in peace. <laughs> Calm your ass down. Who did knock you out again? You better come quietly. You're embarrassing me, you stupid bitch. Marcus, you sure about this? Don't ever question my motives again. If you got something to say to me, you say it in private. Now get the fuck out of here. Right, Mike. You keep telling yourself that. 
Yeah, you're on a diet. Cool. Any word on Torres and Wu? Uh, hold on. Um, yeah, um, Karen's down at the coroner's office uh, checking out the autopsy of Miss Crawford. Uh, Mike's going over the equipment, trying to figure out what went wrong. Then he's heading over to where Catherine Chang was kidnapped. Ray, what happened over Marcus Bain's place? Apparently, Baines and Poe were having lunch with some investors. Bennett, you got anything? Well, Captain, I think I figured out how Ching got in and out of that building without us seeing him. See, that old dojo had a tunnel system built under it. Why we didn't know about that before the stakeout? Well, the schematics I was shown were recent. I looked into it. Turns out that dojo was once the site of a munitions and ordnance warehouse during the Second World War. See, the tunnels go about three blocks east. You pop out around Normandy. You sure? Okay, I'll meet you there. What is it? Looks like we got a lead on the Catherine Chang. Call Mike and have him go with you. You got it. Bennett, I need you inside the tunnels under the dojo. Take Ray with you. Copy that. I'll call some undercover and put them on the family. Go, fellas. Lock and load. Is there anything else I have to do? When you finished, I'm going to need you to. Okay, sure. Just sign the bottom. Okay. Right down. Hello? Yeah, I'm here. Where are you? Inside? How the hell did you get in there? Alright, I'm coming in. Alright, partner. I'm going in. Hello. Thanks for coming, Alice. You said you had information on the Chang kidnapping. I do. I just don't want to be seen. Okay, so Spill, what do you got? I was there when it happened. I saw most of it. Who took her? I saw him from behind. The kidnappers. This guy shot the other girl. All she did was try and protect her friend and they killed her. I can't stand niggers. They're always yeah. causing trouble. So they were black then? Could you ID them? I was pretty scared. It was pretty high. And like I said, I saw him from behind. I did see a black SUV though. And the guy that did the shooting, he was kind of tall. Tall? I know this guy. He said some black guys kicked him and some friends out of an old rundown building in the old Rampart district. They were carrying something over their shoulders. That doesn't mean much. He said it looked like a girl because she was wearing those long socks and shit. So they gave him some weed to keep him quiet. Turned out to be oregano. This intel better be legit. Otherwise, I'll be scouring the city looking for your ass. Anything else? Welcome to Yankee's house. Some hamburgers and some fruit chat. Can I take your order? You know, just give me a double Mississippi burger with no onions, a large wild cherry cola, and a medium haka fries with catfish sauce. Thank you. Yeah. Lisa. Has there been any leads in Kat's case? Yeah, we're getting close. I don't understand how this could have happened. I was just with her. Well, we're, we're trying to get to the bottom. Did you get it? Oh, I got it. That's what I'm saying. Styles called. He wants me to go back to the office. Hey, he's going through our files. So I got to get out of here. Of course you do. Did you order? Of course I did. Uh, you know I did. We got this sauce. No, I better not. Now, Mike, it's only 810, man. Your diet's up to eight. Hey, I gotta stay on my diet. Hey, if you're hungry, you're hungry. How am I gonna be top cop, though? Hey, can I get a couple of boxes of donuts from my partner, please? That's to go. cold. That's cold, Alex. I remember that. <laughs> That guy in Internal Affairs interviewed me for over an hour. I spent half an hour with him. I tried to crack a joke, you know, just to break the tension. The guy stared at me like I slapped him or something. He made Tom and I walk through the schematics with him twice. Hello, Detective uh, the RF desk, Detective Torres speaking. Uh, it's Alex. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, the old man's gonna pay. Uh, okay. Alex asked something. He thinks he's on the chain girl. Where? Uh, some house on the north side. He wants the team ready in position by dawn. 
we're going in. All right then. Bennett, I want you to assemble the team. Okay. I want everybody right. ready to move and plan of attack. Before you proceed, low profile people, I don't want this girl found dead on the morning news. Let's move! Great, grab the gear. Let's be ready to go by 0800. You got it? All right. What's wrong? Um, nothing, I suppose. This file just took away for another time. Tom, I want you and Karen to take the rear. I don't want the desk jockey as my wing. What's that supposed to mean? Narcotics, vice, tactical. Sweetheart, you sit behind a desk. And besides, that stunt you pulled the other day really shows how reckless you are. You have got to be fucking kidding me. Look, we need to focus. Mike, you go with Tom. Karen and I will take the back entrance. Let's go. Yo, what the fuck are you guys doing? Man, the game's on. How's the girl doing? Did she eat? Nah, she won't eat. I took her to piss, though, about 15 minutes ago. Okay, then. Alex, the drop's been made. Roger that, Tom. We're heading in. Make sure no one gets out from your position. Copy that. Mike, head on inside. I'll cover out here. Her old man's got about two hours of pay up. If the motherfucker don't pay up by then, we get to do whatever the fuck we want to do this little bitch. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go see what the slut is doing now, you punk bitches. Freeze, police! Karen, secure the weapons. Mike, go upstairs, check out the bedroom. Tom, officer down. Officer down. Mr. Chang, Mr. Chang, can we get a comment, please? I have a prepared statement. We are glad our daughter has been returned to us safely. We thank the fine men and women of the police task force for expediting this situation with results that satisfy our daughter's safe return. How are you feeling, Tom? Okay. Yeah. I'm a little like it and I'll take care of. You know. I just saw that uh, Marcus Baines denying any involvement in the chain kidnapping. Yeah, his lawyer has documentation saying that the men involved were all terminated from Baines Enterprises over six months ago. We just don't have enough witnesses that could put them all together during this ordeal. What about Catherine? What's her story? She doesn't remember too much. I mean, she didn't see any faces except for TLs. Well, what's I think of our involvement in this? Are they still convinced there's a mole involved? Kane's report's inconclusive. He's not so sure. You know, we really need to find those reports. So I guess the Crawford case is next on our plate? Yeah. It's up to Styles. Besides, let Homicide deal with it. 